Hi everybody, it's Rolex here once again in this part 11 of Magic Find to Hand Hunter Season 2. Um, in this part, uh, there's actually quite a huge change on my character, uh, but because uh, I want to change, uh, just, just, you know, just a little bit more damage to be comfortable to deal with uh, certain bosses and stuff like that, even in tier 3 maps. Uh, the change hasn't finished yet because there's still uh, the uh, what was it, uh, what it, like the awakened gems uh, to go. Like there's a couple awakened gems that I uh, probably need to get uh, in order to you know gain more damage or something like that. Deal with certain bosses and stuff. And you know I've been wasting a lot of uh, currency on this character uh, in particular. Yes, like this one right now i spend about i don't know like like 50 60 exalts without you know the headhunter you know without without counting in headhunter uh this character would probably around 60 70 exalts now um because i switch gear you know a lot you know the first time was uh when the baby version you know with no inspired learnings and stuff like that uh and then with inspired learning, you know, with two of them, with three of them, so there's a multiple layers of uh, this character has gone has gone through, uh, and then this version with Roy Fletcher and a lot of changes in in, in here that I will show you in probably a minute. Uh, but as you could probably see, that I you know kill things really really fast and clear the whole screen uh, because I'm now using fork and shane at the same time so it's going to be a lot a lot of coverage uh, a lot a lot of screen cre clearing uh, the single target though uh, still i'm still using tornado shot tornado shot is amazing for uh, you know something like ritual uh, and also something like uh, big boss or bigger bosses something like that maybe some of the uh, scourge bosses uh, because i think tornado shot is just way more damaged and more comfortable to use than using barrage uh, because i don't like barrage you know personally uh, if you like barrage just go for barrage barrage you're probably gonna do uh maybe more damage because you can you know focus down one single target from far away because you have you know barrage uh node on the on the ascendancy but i just like turn shot more what can i say and you can stack the void charge on targets pretty easy on barrage as well. So there's a lot of benefit using barrage instead of turn to a shot. But I just like turn to a shot and turn to a shot helped me clear uh, a ritual very, very well. And some of the content such as Harbinger as well. So we're going to go over the result and talk about the build now. Um, in this part, it's pretty much just on average, or maybe a little bit more than average. Average would probably be like three nurses per uh, 50 maps. Uh, but this time, I got four nurses, and, and then, uh, you know, some random stuff. I also got another Milonese mechanism. Uh, so I'm probably going to try to get like three white socket on the Forishi bench uh, once I play a character that can do higher tier map, or you know just just a real character that i would probably play because i really really enjoy you know my first character which i probably go back and try to make it a little bit better but probably gonna make a new character altogether because it's gonna be a, a new way a new approach and well be more damage on it because you know the first character that i built was pretty much just a tanky boy that don't like to die and I got this red bit banner. I don't think this is good because it's just like socketed a projectile gem. Like, what, what are you doing with this? Uh, are you going to like socket in? I don't know. Like, it's just, just weird, right? Like, plus two low socketed projectile gem. Um, and there's a couple people selling them uh, with a plus two level socket gem, uh, socket projectile gem. It's like 30C. I don't know. Like, I don't know if people use projectile gems at all, but maybe. Uh, I got high risk truth with the area damage for whatever reason. So it's a pretty, I mean, it's a pretty weird amulet. Like, uh, I, I mean, you get, get some fizz, some cold, crit, multi, and precision. I guess it, it works, right? And then it got like area damage. Like, what, what can you do with area damage? I got a uh, dash rush with uh, 
minus chaos resistance so it it's just like remove the implicit of it uh, and chance to gain power charge on kill and a cold uh, resistance so essentially you can just get like power charge on kill you know while mapping and then you can onslaught on kill while mapping i don't know like this is just a weird one i got uh, another chevron i probably gonna try to drop double corrupt it because this one has a really really good role so and that's pretty much it for the drop i got four exalted orb you know from you know dropping and then i sold one of my item for seven exalts uh which is the corrupted um corrupted what is it like the helmet with the maximum power charge uh the uh, what is it, like crown of eye uh yeah it's this one so seven exalts on that thing and i got a max roll lion's roll and a bunch of uh, weird thing uh that's gonna be uh you know pretty much for the uh, drop i guess um i'm still doing the same thing uh, still doing uh you know four sections and no scarabs uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this uh until the end because i don't want to doing weird stuff i want to scarabs or something like that but the next thing that i would do is just going to uh you know just maximize uh, the monsters in map which probably gonna put on scarab i'm gonna use a uh, beast scarabs here um I, i'm gonna use a bezo army i'm gonna use a beast scarab i'm going to be using uh, a lot of new things that get monsters in map uh, probably just going to put the durium orb as well just in like tier three maps like one durium orb uh, a bunch of juices and, and try try to max out the map like every map probably spend about one or maybe 1.5 exalts per map but that's going to be the next project and i'm going to try to fill in the uh, watchstone that worth using on the glenard as well maybe just beyond maybe just like quantity uh, we'll see but that's gonna be on in the next story but now we go over to my character that i've been changing for a couple things i did buy um you know the ribbon mask just the base one you know for 2.5 exalts and then i chance it um i probably gonna put like the chance video on you know but realistically i don't i didn't record all of them because like it spent like it's it's like it's spare over like maybe like 10 to 15 minutes uh clicking right and i, I already record like the first eight minutes of it and it's just like well it's just not worth it like it's just not worth it and maybe it's not gonna happen so i'm just start recording and just keep going still uh, until i get the goal uh so i didn't spend a tractor treasure so i didn't buy a tractor treasure this one was like about like 700 uh, chance orb and 700 uh, scouring uh, to get uh, the gaul with a uh, lining arrow enchantment so this is just for clear so basically this this is just for clear and i'm probably gonna buy a new one uh, with the uh, tornado shot enchant to see what's the different uh, and i divine it just one divine i think to get the 39 percent core resistance and 80 max life uh, you don't need like good roll but Good role is good right so why not uh i didn't change any other you know of my basic gear like basic bitch uh this one's still the same old you know just effect of non-cursed auras from your skill so it's just gonna be like extra damage for your uh hatred and extra accuracy and crit chance and then i changed my win but this is my big change uh this is i bought this one for five exalts because i changed my quiver as you can see i have a quiver uh, right here it says the deal no physical damage so i need to replace deal no physical damage because if you ever running into a map with a physical like reflect uh, even 60 percent conversion you still have a leftover physical damage and we use stealing a lot of mod that has like extra damage or extra crit crit damage or something like that you will kill yourself with like 10 physical damage you will kill yourself because you attack so fast um you will kill yourself so i need to get a wind ripper that has deal no physical because i can't afford to buy uh, deal no physical void fletcher uh with like a good implicit right 
So I bought this Void Fletcher because I just want, you know, implicit to change and, you know, have a little bit, you know, extra quick gain, something like that. And uh, nine percent extra for from fist to fire doesn't really matter because again, like knife, nine nine flat fire damage that doesn't do anything. Uh, the flat coal is actually matter, and the roll on the the, the you know the quiver itself is actually high on this one. So thirty to ninety four, pretty high. And then a tier um, I don't know tier one on the flat coal on the corruption, I guess maybe because I can't find anything higher than this. So I bought this quiver for nine exalts. Uh, I bought this helmet for 2.5, and then I bought this Wind Ripper for five exalts. Uh, you know, like if you want to replicate this bow, I think it's gonna cost you around like seven exalts to nine exalts now because uh, it also has faster projectile. And I also changed my link to Awaken Fork, uh, this one for uh, three exalts. And uh, I'm still using added coal because I don't have uh, currency left uh, when I bought everything. Uh, so I'm still using added coal level 20, not even 21, 20. Uh, chain, I'm still using chain, normal chain. Uh, I'm probably going to change using, uh, you know, awakened chain instead. Uh, inspiration, still level 20. Uh, elemental damage with tabs support is still, you know, the, the normal version, not the awakened version and then line arrow with no quality because you don't need quality you always chop because you crit right um if you crit you chop if you don't crit you don't do anything so it doesn't really matter uh white fletcher as i say yeah, you don't really need anything on this thing uh you can go with like plus one chain uh, and plus one arrow but that's like really really expensive um, maybe like five mirrors that i saw in on the market it's just like an absolutely like you don't you don't need that like if you don't play a real build you don't need that you just play it for you know farming uh, and if you want to farm uh, yeah just go with like something like a plus one chain that pro probably be enough maybe about like 60 exalts worth of uh quiver and then i changed my passive uh i think i i i was going to drop like this part but then again like it, it's not that bad to keep this uh, so I decided to drop this part in state and put in uh, Lionized Fall to gain a little bit more extra damage. Uh, right now, I don't have way to generate Frenzy Charge. I probably need one more or two more level to get the Frenzy Charge and Power Charge on kill here, uh, which is absolutely amazing for the build. Um, or maybe if I can drop this whole cluster, like because it's just it doesn't, doesn't do anything like for the most part it's just 10 percent elemental uh, penetration which is i already have 10 percent pen on the blanket snow uh and that's like i mean it is like five points here so i can get reduced reflect damage there so it's like maybe i could drop these uh because i have like a lot of decks still so i can drop 20 decks there and then i can get like a bunch more stuff uh with it and i also drop the uh, uh pure talent for corrupted blood because it doesn't do anything it's only like seven percent movement speed and corrupted blood immunity which i will i, I replaced with the lionized fall uh for corrupted blood cannot be inflicted on you i think this one goes for about uh, seven exalts uh, when I bought it, I think it might be going up or it might be going down. Yeah, it's still 7 exalts, still 7 point something exalts. Um, well, let me show you. Yep, this one. It's still going for around 7 exalts. So the price is still high. Uh, so, But this is absolutely worth it. Uh, you don't want to spend any points more than this because you're already level, I only were level 95. If I ever want to get more level means that i need to go for a rotation or to go for higher tier map and don't die on it right so with like 1.7k life you're not gonna survive you're not gonna get level uh, as you can see even in tier 3 maps they would die a lot because i don't really want to put, pay attention to the game uh, i want just chilling and you know killing mobs and dropping stuff right and if I got an uh, inspiration with like level 21 and somehow magically I can get like plus one on the socket support gem, 
uh, level of socket support gem i could probably go for like plus plus three on here so i gain a little bit more damage but i don't know that's probably not gonna happen because this doesn't do much uh, still a plus a 50 percent increase effect of non-damaging elements still very very good on shocking bo big boss even with your uh, lightning arrow for clear it still shock a, a high amount because it's also 300 percent uh, more effect on the chop right it's basically like that right 300 percent more effect on chop because chalk enemies through deal through, though dealing 300 percent more damage it's basically just 300 percent more shock um, and I drop the infused because it doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm still keeping the clever thief because I don't have way to generate frenzy charge. So that's why I think I'm gonna go frenzy charge on kill here. Uh, if I tr if I find a way to gain a frenzy charge on like uh, here, I probably drop this and then grab the one percent attack leech and one percent uh, one percent attack damage leech life and mana on the claw mastery so i can drop two nodes and then i can get some uh frenzy charge on kill somewhere but that's gonna be it for me uh basically i can you know steal frenzy power and enter and charge on hit with bow so it's still okay i mean uh you would get like somewhat decent amount of uh frenzy charge like in map still uh or you can use ice bite like one on one of these um thing right because you have like six uh, frenzy chargers so that's gonna be it or i could probably drop on uh, graceful assault and get the discipline of slaughter instead so again a uh, frenzy charge for free uh there so uh, there there's a uh, multiple options that i can go with the uh you know the the, the uh, frenzy charge generation but right now onslaught it's very very good as well because i don't have onslaught flash as you can see i don't have any way to gain onslaught uh so that's why i'm still using uh graceful assault because it's just a really really a solid node it gives you third uh, it's give you basically uh 26 percent attack and cat speed and movement speed as well when you have onslaught so it's a very very strong node uh, for me right now if I can find a way to get rid of a, you know, like problem for the frenzy charge generation, I'm going to do it. But for, you know, this character right now in this current state, it's not going to happen. Uh, maybe I try to get a watcher's eye with like a hatred uh, or something like that. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. And hope you guys enjoy on this uh, episode of Magic Fight to Headhunter, I guess. Um, I got a pretty uh, decent luck i guess on this one you know rng is on my side still so and that's gonna be it guys and hope you enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye